All right, guys, we are out here in Paris. We're walking over to the, um, I can't remember what we're walking over to. Hey guys, Thunder E here and welcome to my Pixel 7 Pro in Paris video. As you can tell, I went to Paris and right now I'm heading to the American Express Century and Lounge in JFK. Uh, big shout out to Philips Evnia for sponsoring this video. We're going to be checking out some of the cool monitors later on. So our flight was in the evening uh, from JFK. So we spent some time in the Centurion Lounge. I got a seat here to check out some of the planes. I didn't have too much time, but I heard there's a speakeasy in the lounge and I wanted to go check it out. It's the 1850. It's not really hidden. Uh, the door is clearly stated there, but it's a really cool lounge, kind of small. I didn't want to record people. There were tons of people coming through, but you're going to see the camera of the Pixel 7 Pro in this video in various situations, photos, the zoom lens, all that fun stuff as we take this trip to Paris and back. So I had to get the espresso martini, which is the signature drink here at the lounge. Of course, it has 1850 on there, uh, but I had a quick drink. The lounge is pretty small, uh, but it's really nice though. Um, and I had to head over to my gate. So it was really cool spending time at the Centurion Lounge. I'll capture more next time because my gate was all the way at B39. And if you're in Terminal 4 in JFK, it's a bit of a hike. Uh, you gotta go all the way down. And you know, just looking at the stability of the camera, using some of that zoom functionality there, seeing B39, you can zoom all the way to 5X, you can see that. That's the plane we're taking, that's an A3. 330, I believe, yes. Um, it's a wide body plane, a bit smaller than, of course, an A350. Tech me out on the flight with me, as well as a cousin Cam. Got to board, I uh, had premium select seats, which is nice, so more space. Biggest screen, which is also pretty cool. Uh, you've got charging, and of course, I have to bring my anchor charger. That's the, I believe, the 757 charger. Great multi charger, and I love that sticky thing that they have with it. Uh, dinner menu that was served um i think i went with the chicken on this flight it was good um nothing crazy but uh, i would say the best thing on the menu uh for me was the ice cream it was really really dope had some champagne uh, took a quick nap and then we landed in paris um and this is charles de gaulle's airport we headed over to our hotel again i'm capturing everything on the pixel 7 pro and it does a good job in the different situations i'm not trying to be cinematic or anything i'm just capturing everything i see around giving you of a more natural feel and one thing about paris you see cafes everywhere but anyway checked into the hotel and the first thing we're going to do was of course see the sights so decided to walk around the city we're pretty close to a really cool landmark and of course there is a pastry store that sells eclairs we didn't get one here we'll get one later uh, but we walked over to the Arc de Triomphe and it was a great place for us to take photos, uh, do some time lapse here, as you can see, all with the pixel. This is a solid 5X shot. You can see the details of the architecture and we took some photos and honestly, it was just great to capture photos. So why did you guys just take a look at some of the photos? out here shopping on Champs-Élysées and um, look, look, this is Xiaomi store. Right? Really? Xiaomi? Yeah, it, it's a Xiaomi store. It's a Xiaomi store right here. Yeah. Of course, there's, you know, Chanel, Cartier, uh, you know, everywhere. Yeah, yeah, I, I did some shopping, but it was cool. I'm in Paris. So the very next day, we were taken to the Start de France. This is the 
French national team stadium for, for of course, the football team. Yes, it's called football. And uh, this was a great experience. This is was the event with Philips uh, Evnia. Uh, they could see Jacqueline. Uh, we got to go through the locker room of the French national team. Now, these are the jerseys of the 1998 World Cup team uh, that won the World Cup against Brazil. Oh, man, I was so sad that they really wanted Brazil to win. But you see the really cool jerseys, also jerseys of different consoles as well. So that was pretty nice. Stade of France is a beautiful stadium and I love the opportunity checking it out and also uh, you know being a, a manager here I kind of look like one with my outfit at least for the day uh, being able to go ahead and call my players in and change formations all that fun stuff but the big show here of course with the Philips Evnia monitors this is the 42 inch monitor 138 hertz uh, refresh rate uh this also has hdmi 2.1 uh it's a great monitor uh, you can see it's got uh, you can tilt you can adjust it uh it's really bright and sharp and you've also got some really great viewing angles on this monitor as well a uh, great gaming experience at least we got from here the show you can see the green angles there next up was the acuity oled monitor yes they have acuity oled 175 hertz refresh rate on this monitor and it looked great playing doom eternal look at how that looks really nice and crisp uh, all together and the first monitor they're releasing is this one this is a mini uh, led monitor a hdr 1400 co comes with a built-in kvm as well uh this bad boy looked really nice all the monitors look good uh really sharp and very vibrant they all also have some lighting at the back and they also announced a few accessories including uh this of course cherry red uh uh, switch keyboard which was nice uh, it felt really comfortable and good as well as a gaming mouse and a gaming headset definitely check out uh, the stuff that Philips Evnia have uh, some really great accessories but also some great monitors coming out so stay tuned for more from them and then I run into tech chap at the event <laughs> Start the France. Oh. Yeah, yeah exactly what do you think exactly. pixel big old stadium I like the pixel you know what? I really love the battery life I did a test and the versus the 6 Pro, it lasted for like two hours longer. That was like my biggest complaint from before, so I'm pretty happy about that. What do you think? Enjoying it? How's the camera? How's the video? What do you think? <laughs> you said to me myself. <laughs> Uh, thank you very much, Tech Chap. Now, we got to check out Moulin Rouge, um, and this is courtesy of our friends at Philips um, Evnia. And I know a lot of people say this is a tourist trap, but it was a great show. It was a lot of fun. I definitely would recommend it, especially if you get a table, you get some champagne. Absolutely gorgeous. So, you can also see some shots, low light shots, with the Pixel 7 Pro. We had a good time, it was a big crew of us. So again, big shout out to Philips for this. Now, um, we had dinner. I had dinner twice with some friends as well as also with Tech Chap and Tech Me Out. And uh, it was a fun experience just uh, sitting down and eating and enjoying Paris, just capturing the time with friends. So that was actually pretty cool. But again, the camera is being put to work. So I, I definitely want to know what you guys think at the end of the day because the food was also amazing. Well, I still had to see more of Paris, so definitely went to another cafe, got myself an eclair, as you saw earlier, of course, some croissants, but we headed over to the Eiffel Tower. And uh, the zoom lens here on the Pixel is quite useful, it works pretty well, honestly. Also took some really great photos and big shout out to Cam again for being an awesome model for me for this Pixel 7 Pro video. And also using the time lapse feature, uh, it's great. I like it with this. I think it works pretty well. I think a lot of people will like it too. Now, Paris is fun, but I have to head back and I caught a flight back with Air France, different from Delta. Uh, and I got a business class seat. I want to be more comfortable coming back home and just try out the product. I like trying out different airline products. Very spacious, private. Um, and guys, if you want me to do more videos on airlines uh, using different smartphones, let me know. But it was about time to take off. We took off, had my champagne in hand the menu was impressive some really good food on this flight 
lots of drinks lots of alcohol alcohol uh but honestly the food was impressive tasted great the pasta was fantastic and then eventually landed in the united states of america so i just landed in new york city i'm back from paris and i should be taking an uber but i'm actually going to be catching a ride on a helicopter back home let's go find out Flyblade is an interesting service offering five to six minute helicopter rides from JFK to the city. They pick you up from your terminal and they take you to their own helicopter terminal. And this is where all the fun begins. But this was the coolest part, walking over to the helicopter. Uh, my luggage was put into the plane. You can bring your luggage with you. You just have to kind of let them know exactly what kind of luggage you're taking with you, whether it's a carry-on or checked-in luggage. But you're walked out by the staff and there's a lot of safety protocols to get to the helicopter. But this was the coolest part, taking off JFK and flying over the runway in the helicopter and looking at all the planes and jets. And it was a fantastic view. Uh, honestly, this was a great experience. There's actually another runway pretty close to the airport that's abandoned. The views are great. The zoom lens on the Pixel 7 Pro really does a very good job. Now, I'm, this was me shooting across the way, zooming down and looking at parts of Queens and Brooklyn. Also, is pretty nice. There's also the, the BQE, which is a pretty cool view. Look at see the Statue of Liberty and that zoom. Honestly, I was impressed with the Pixel 7 Pro here and what it actually brought to the table. But for me, this was a fun experience altogether. Uh, and uh, I think one that much experience. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and you got to see the Pixel 7 Pro do different things that you haven't seen before. And you got to see something new with uh, Philips uh, Evnia, sponsor of this video. Check out uh, their products if you wanna pick up at least their new monitor that's coming out, the mini LED. I'll leave a link down for you guys below. And if you guys have any questions or any comments about the Pixel 7 Pro, let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.